How's it going, party people? Welcome back to another video. I'm Killer Cobra Dude, and today we're playing some Slayer on Halo 5. Um, like I told you guys, I'm going to start playing Halo 5 more and more on the channel. Hopefully, it's going to be my primary game of choice from now on. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty decent gameplay. You know, I'm not perfect at Halo. You know, I'm not the greatest Halo player of all time. I think I'm pretty good overall in general. Um, but watching some YouTube videos, especially like highlight reels, people are doing some crazy stuff out there in Halo 5 especially. Um, so, you know, this, this channel is a journey. It's not just me absolutely beating the crap out of anyone and everyone. Um, but, you know, I, I, it was my New Year's resolution to start a channel, and so that's what I'm going to do. I started the channel, and I'm going to post 365 videos and see how it goes. So, um, hopefully, while you're here watching my videos, you have a good time and you enjoy it. Um, the gameplay might not be as spectacular as some other YouTubers out there, but I still think I'm a pretty solid Halo player. Um, but more importantly, we're here for a, for a good time and for the journey. So thanks for joining me today. If you are watching the video, um, we appreciate it for sure. So, um, but yeah, I'm starting to get my feet under me a little bit more and more. I know I said that yesterday and the day before, but it's been a while since I played Halo 5 and coming back, it's starting to feel much better. Um, I'm starting to feel really good about it. I did switch the button layout. I told you guys yesterday I was thinking about changing it up from the Halo 4, I think is what I was playing on. Um, so now I'm playing on uh, Recon, which is what I play all the other Halo games on. I think it's going to be the way to go for me. Um, you'll see a few times I do still push the wrong button for like reload and melee. Um, just because I'm still new. It star I started the new button layout yesterday, so... I still get mixed up a little bit here and there, but for the most part, I do think this is more smooth and I do feel more comfortable, so I think this is what I'm going to stick to. Um, you'll notice I'm like doing the sprint slide more and more and more um, just because, yeah, you see me try to reload right there and I punch air instead, so that's great. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I definitely am getting used to it. I do the, the sprint slide more and more. Um, just a faster way to move around the map. You know, it reminds me of Apex doing that. So definitely really uh, enjoy the game more now. I was struggling for a while getting killed, landing headshots. I actually warmed up today playing a little bit of SWAT. Um, I used to do that a lot in all the other Halos, like Halo Reach especially. I would just start off the day playing a few SWAT games to make sure that the headshots are dialed in. And you'll see I kind of pop a few headshots. Um, just one shot kind of steals teammates kills uh, later on in the game and I think it does have a lot to do with that uh, playing SWAT as a warm-up so I do recommend that for any of you guys that are trying to work on your accuracy especially your headshots SWAT is a great way to do that um, because obviously in order to get the kill in SWAT you have to land that headshot and so if you're missing your shots it's much more clear in SWAT because you are going to be getting wrecked by the competition um, because if they're landing their headshots and you're not it definitely shows a lot more than in just normal Slayer or uh, Fiesta or anything like that so um, but yeah so what do you guys think of uh, video games in general so I have a I told you guys yesterday I have a little list of things to talk about during the uh, during each episode um, and so today I just want to talk in general about video games um, not just Halo, but all video games. So I am a diehard Xbox fan. I'll always have an Xbox, and I'll get the uh, Series X when it comes out. But I also have a Nintendo Switch. Um, I don't feel like Nintendo really competes directly with you know the Xbox and PlayStation um, fight that goes on. Obviously, it's another gaming console, but I think it's just different, and the tone overall of Nintendo is different. So I do have a Switch. And I would say one of my favorite games of all time, if not my favorite game of all time, is Breath of the Wild. I think it's just an absolutely amazing game. Um, and I love, I've never played Legend of Zelda before that. Um, don't hate me if you're a Legend of Zelda fan, but I know it's not, you know, classic Zelda. But yeah, I do love Breath of the Wild. I think it's absolutely phenomenal. So, um, our. I know a lot of people that uh, play Halo also have a PlayStation. Are any of you guys thinking about getting the PlayStation 5 when it comes out? 
um, that's just a question you can leave your answer down in the comments uh, just start a conversation about you know which one's better why um, I know in this past generation with the Xbox one and the PlayStation 4 the exclusive content especially for the PlayStation has just been so much better um, so you know I definitely don't knock it for going the PlayStation route if you're gonna do that um, but I feel like most people that are watching the channel, if they're watching Halo gameplay, it's because they own an Xbox themselves. I'm not trying to alienate those PlayStation guys out there. If you're coming to the channel to watch some Halo because you can't play it, I appreciate it. Thanks for coming. Um, thanks for watching the videos. But I feel like just in general, you watch what you play, you know. So for me, I watch a lot of Halo videos. I watch a lot of Apex videos. Um, when I was finding, trying to find all the shrines and all the Korok scenes for Zelda, I was watching a lot of Breath of the Wild videos, so that's what I like to do in my spare time, just watch YouTube, um, watch TV shows, stuff like that, so, um, but yeah, for Halo, good stick right there, you know, pretty sweet, felt pretty good about that one, um, but for Halo, I was, like I said, I was getting my ass kicked starting off playing Halo 5 quite a bit and so something that I was trying to do a lot more was work on my movement just in general um, across the map um, trying to be more fluid and active just constantly running around places seeing if I could get in better fights and better situations instead of letting the fights come to me um, and by doing that I was doing my best to try and stick with teammates so you'll see that I do my best to kind of run up behind a teammate especially if they're already engaged in a fight and assist them um, and help them and get the kill or get the kill myself um, because then I'm not dying as often and um, overall I'm 2v1ing people or 2v2ing people instead of getting the 1v2 done to me which was happening a lot right at the beginning. Um, so that's just another, you know, another tip that I think is a good takeaway from me struggling, um, especially at the beginning of my Halo 5 content. So, um, yeah, like I said, good headshot right there, and I think that comes from SWAT. So just playing SWAT, backing up your teammates, getting familiar with the map, moving around a lot, um, all great tips for Halo 5 in general. So... We're getting close to the end of the video. Thank you so much for coming out, guys. Um, go ahead and hit that sub subscribe button if you like the content and you want to come back for more. Hit that like button. It really helps a lot. It means a lot to me um, and the channel. So thank you so much for coming out. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Bye. in 10 seconds.